Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna do the ABS sensor install on the F-350. I didn't get a chance to do it during the day. Uh, and honestly, I'm not sure if it's the rear or the front sensors that are bad, but since the truck was hit in the rear, I decided to go ahead and buy this from the dealer. I think it was like 37 bucks. And to get a diagnostics done, that's gonna be about 40 to 60 bucks depends where you go also since it's dark out i'm gonna try out some lights that i got from eastwood they sent me a complete set uh to test out and we're gonna give it a shot and see how it works let me show you the lights that i got and we can test them out underneath the truck so this is the light i got three of them it basically turns on and it's magnetic it has different modes you press the button and it dims and you pretty much set it to kind of where you want it. This is the lowest right here, and then it goes to the highest, and then it starts flashing again. That's when it's the highest. It also rotates however you want it. And we're gonna use this light and install the ABS sensor on the rear end. On the rear, it's only one, and that's mounted on the rear end itself. And on the front, it's on each wheel. Yeah, it's rechargeable, so that's kind of what's cool about it. You basically charge it and you're ready to go. Oh, and guys, stay till the end because I'm going to be doing a little giveaway for a few of the viewers. There's going to be a random selection for somebody that wants something that I have and I won't really need it anymore. So stay till the end and to find out what it is. All right, let's change this ABS sensor out and hopefully the light goes out. If it doesn't, oh well, I'll have a new one. And then the used one can be a spare in the glove box, for example. And then I'll just go ahead and order uh, two new ones for the front and hopefully that'll fix the problem. If not, then I guess we'll go from there. All right, let's get this done. Let's go. And the rear one is just that simple there's only one bolt it comes out of the rear end unplugs and i just put the new one in i'm just hoping the light goes out uh let's see here because on this truck i gotta get a a braking light inspection done and if the abs light is on i can't it won't pass the braking light inspection let's see if it's on It's on right now. Now let's start it. Come on, come on. No, nope, still on. I might have to drive it. I might have to drive it. The mate that might fix it if I drive it. So 
So let me go on a quick uh, little uh, drive around the block and see if, uh, if that will go away. While driving it didn't seem to clear the ABS light. Unless I might have to drive some more, I'm not sure. I gotta try to Google it some more and see if I can uh, find some more info. I'll update you guys once I find the answer and once I get the ABS light taken care of and I'll let you know exactly what the problem was. But let's take a look at the Eastwood lights and uh, let me show you why I like them so much. You can buy these individually, lights individually, tripod individually, and then also this piece that goes on the underneath the hood or underneath the roof. I'll show you that in a minute. You can also buy that individually. And the price for these is actually not that bad. I believe it's like $40, $45 per light. And it's a rechargeable light, magnetic light. Uh, this tripod is designed so you can mount each light individually. But let's test these out. I have a couple LED lights that I always use in the garage or outside or whatever I'm doing stuff. I'm always using LED lights. But I actually want to compare those to the ones I always use to these ones. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to open the garage. It's kind of raining outside, but I'm going to open the garage and we're going to see the difference. So we're going to use F350 as an example. And I'm going to put the tripod right here. The light tripod right there. And we're going to use one light to compare. And we're going to compare to one of these shop LED lights and to one of these. And what we're going to do, we're going to turn one on turn it off and then we're going to compare it against one LED just so you know I'm going to turn these just so it's uh, fair I'm going to turn both of them down and just have one on and actually it might be better if I lower a tripod so it's pretty accurate results same height all right so let's turn on the LED one that I always use the cord one plugs into a 110 we're gonna turn that on and that's what we get pretty good I use it all the time I like this light it's by Husky I think it's about 900 lumens maybe if I'm not mistaken so let's turn that off and then we're gonna turn on the green one There we go, it seems a little bit more bluer. Also a pretty good light. All right, and then now let's turn on the Eastwood one. And also pretty good for battery powered LED light. I think these are extremely bright compared to corded one that you plug into an outlet let me see if I can compare them a little bit better I'm gonna I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and then I'm gonna try to hold everything steady and then kind of go from one to another to another and you guys can compare uh, on camera all right let's give it a shot black husky with the red stand green one which is a power smith and then the Eastwood. All right, ready? Here we go. Couple seconds and then next one. What do you guys think? I think they're all pretty good in their own way. Uh, one is a little ye yellower, another one's a little bit bluer. Uh, and I think the Eastwood is kind of in between. But they're all pretty bright. The biggest reason I like Eastwood lights is because, like I said, they're powered by a battery. You can just charge them. And they're magnetic. You can just mount them anywhere to a metal. So let's try and do all three Eastwoods at the same time and see what we get. We got one. Got two.
and three. And then turn them off. One, two, three. I would use these uh, pretty often, I'm pretty sure. So now let me show you the other bracket that goes underneath the hood and why I think that's the most convenient thing for somebody that works on cars. I was actually thinking about trying to find a underneath hood type of a LED bar. But honestly, I never actually found anything that I really liked. But let's put this on and see how well it performs. So this bar comes in two pieces and you put it together, tight in right here. So basically the way it works, you open up this little bracket area, you put the light in there, snaps right in. Same thing for this one. And the third one. So now we got three lights mounted on the bar. These edges stretch out. So when you want to mount them somewhere, you know, they pretty much go pretty wide. I think 72 inches, if I'm not mistaken. And then these slide, you can tighten in by the bolts right here and then it doesn't slide anymore. So let me show you a quick example how you can mount this on a roof and then we'll do the, the hood test. Now we'll try this on the Mustang since I'll be doing a lot of work on the inside of the Mustang as well as underneath the hood. You can just basically mount it like that. And you can turn the light on. You can tilt it however you want. Either way, back or forth. You can slide it from one end to another. Like if you don't want to use all three lights. Pretty much get any angle that you need. And then of course, if you need the light, you just let it snap it, pop it out. If let's say you want to mount it to the roof, mount it to the roof. You mount it pretty much to any metal that you want. And then when you're done, put it back in or, or put it back on charge or whatever. Each light comes with a cigarette lighter charger and a wall plug charger. So you can do either way. You can do it in the car, you can do it at home at a plug somewhere. All right, now let's test these out on the F-350 because the hood is pretty wide on the F-350. So let's give it a shot and see if the expandable arms can go wide enough to work on the F-350 hood. I'm using one of the lights right here on top so I can see what I'm doing. And the bracket itself expands to 72 inches and the hood I measured as 70 inches. So it's kind of a little bit at its maximum, but let's see if it works. Let's see what we get. So here we go, it fits pretty good. I noticed when I was expanding it, I maybe had a couple more inches, but that was pretty much it. All right, so I put on, I only turned on one light. Let's turn this one on, let's turn this one. So let's say you wanna work in this area, you just wanna use one light. You can use two lights if you bought two lights or three lights, whatever you want. Uh, but basically, let's say you have only one light. You're working in this area and then you want to move over to this side. You move it all, all the way to the left. Obviously, if you don't have two extra ones, you can move it all the way to the, to the left and then move it all the way to the right. You can tilt it either way you want. And the cool thing is you can have one here, one in the center, one tilted this way, one tilted that way, and you have one more where you, wherever you want to tilt it. So, Basically, you can get all the angles that you need. 
And if let's say you want one light, one light out, you slide it right out. And let's say you need some light right here, for example. You just kind of put it right here, take one out, maybe put it on a mag magnet like that. Put it on a metal base, you're good. Wherever you need it. You can move it, get some work done, go to another area, do the same thing. I mean, some areas it might not stick that well, it depends on uh, if the metal is curved or not. So obviously you want to make sure you are using the flat surfaces. So there you have it guys, these two lights, like I said, they can be bought as a kit. This whole thing with the tripod and the bracket and the three lights together, you can buy it as a kit, save some money, or if you want to buy just one, you can just buy one individually, whatever you want to do, you can just buy just the bracket and then one light, whatever works for you. But I have quite a bit of uh, Eastwood products, so I know they uh, make great products and it's their own exclusive uh, product it's not something you just buy anywhere on ebay or on amazon they're the only ones that sell this kind of led light this kind of bracket setup so it's a i think for the price you get in a pretty good deal and i also want to actually charge them all the lights to 100 percent and then actually turn them all on maybe turn one on at 100 percent another one at 50 percent and another one at the lowest setting and then kind of see uh, how long they last. I'd be kind of curious to see uh, the result on that. I'll do that once I charge it to 100%. So that's going to be a separate video coming up. All right, so now let's do the quick little giveaway of something that I don't really need now because I have these lights. But I figured I'll give away to one of you guys. Actually make that three winners. I want to select three winners uh, to get something that I won't need because I have these lights now. So let's go and see what we got. All right, guys, now let's find out what I'll be giving away to three lucky winners that might need this and I won't really need it anymore. And that's gonna be the LED lights right here. So we got these ones, the Husky, black and red. And we got the green ones, Power Smith. And a third bonus, we have this little flashlight stick. Pretty cool. It has a, pretty much a flashlight and a LED. And a LED bar right here by Defiant. It's a rechargeable, battery powered, and it's also magnetic. But if you can kind of stick it, it's not the best when it's at this kind of angle, but you get the idea. Basically, you can stand it up somewhere in the middle or upside down. And it'll, hit, and it'll hang pretty much just, just fine. So that's gonna be the three giveaways that I'm doing. And basically what you need to do is in the comment section below, if you want this and you are in the United States because it will be kind of, it won't be worth it uh, to ship it overseas. But if you're in the United States and you need these two, let's just call it black and red LED, or these two, green LEDs, or the LED stick. Put in the comments, LED red and black, LED green, or LED stick. And obviously the reason I'm giving it away because I don't really need them honestly. I have the three Eastwood lights that I think I'll be pretty happy with. They're pretty awesome. I like them so far, and I won't be using these that much. But these are great lights. The Obviously, if you need them, let me know in the comments. That's all you need to do. On the next video, I'll announce the winners and then we'll go from there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video review, testing all the LED lights and all that good stuff. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Check the links in the description below and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.